is Thursday here and I have good news um, a lot of you guys are praying for my niece Sarah and it's been working she came through surgery and she's doing great uh, one of the big concerns is that the tumor is stuck to her was stuck, stuck to her optic nerve meaning that taking it off could affect her vision dramatically and there was even a chance that she could come out of the surgery and be blind but luckily she still has vision so that's an amazing huge thing Sophie's testing Gabby on her times tables. Soon the tables will be turned. Now I'm gonna have to do like, yeah, she's in grade three. She yeah. can start learning. Yeah, so Gabby learns, has been learning times tables for the last couple of years, but she's really eight. starting to memorize them. She knows up to her eights right now, huh? Except for my threes. Threes suck? Threes suck. These are the easiest for me, no, you just count by threes. Are. You just skip count by threes. Anyway, girls are doing that. And back to Sarah. Um, she was had a grueling 10-hour operation. They were able to get almost all of the tumor out. They had to leave a small hard piece because it was attached to it was attached to the optic nerve, I think, and they didn't want to damage it. And they had to leave the outer layer of the tumor because it was attached to some blood vessels. But other than that, they got the whole thing. And that's a big deal. So thank you so much for your prayers. And please, if you feel like it, she could definitely use more prayers because she still has a long journey ahead of herself. But hopefully this is the beginning of the end and she's gonna live uh, amazing, incredible life that God had planned for her. Sophie declared today a pajama day. Show them your pajamas. A unicorn! So these are her pajamas. They're super a big. A unicorn! A unicorn! A unicorn! <laughs> Look at her little tail. Today is a freezing cold day. They said that it was going to be a really, really cold today, and it is. I'm like, I'm wearing a huge sweater, another huge sweater. I have two pairs of socks on, and I'm still freezing. I'm just going to see what the temperature is out there. It says 40 degrees, but oh, it's cold. It is super cold. I'm excited to go to the barn when it's cold though. Are you excited to go to the barn when it's cold? Kind of. He's excited to go to the barn. Girls are still working on a little bit of homeschool. 647 comments, you guys, on today's video. 647 comments since 11.30 in the morning. That, I think, is a total record. We'll probably have a thousand comments on today's video. And you know what that tells me? It tells me that our subscribers love to help us. So, Gabby is working on her uh, rocks and mineral folder, and Sophie's is here. So, this is a lap book. And so, we're just getting started. This is our rocks. I already studied rocks and, and mineral. fossil vocabulary. This girl is terrified of Nick. Where is she? Alright, she's not terrified because she's just laying there. But she hides. She hides. She hides. She hides she protects him. Like, I don't, no matter what Nick does. Well, I like you in blue, Nick. I never see you wear blue. Looks good. Do you guys remember when we first got Ruby and we told you guys that, that she's not potty trained? Well, it's like a month and a half later and she is doing fabulous. When we first got her, she would not even go outside by herself. She's peeing right now. She's peeing. She would not go outside by herself. Sam had to take her out the back and she was not asking us to go out. She peed into the house three times. We had to totally clean our carpet. And now she just asked me to go out. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Ruby. Oh so basically, God. Sam decided he would get bells. I put them on the door and I said, they're way too high. So she's not ringing the bells yet. But she literally went to the back door, which is where Sam still takes her out in the back. I don't cave into that kind of stuff, but he does. He takes her out there all the time. But we have bells down here too. And she just went and sat down and stared at the door and then looked at me. And I was like, you want to go out? And she had to go out. So she, I'd say she's totally trained. I swear she's totally potty trained now. Like, it's amazing. And I think to myself how hard it was at the beginning. I was like, oh my gosh, this dog peed on our floor three times. Like, what the heck? But never once did I consider um, giving in and not keeping her. And just like that, it's gone, it's done. And just like with her horse, even though it's a lot of work and you guys told us, it's like way not, it's, it's not all fun and games and it's not. 
but we don't even consider for a second getting rid of her and we still love her and I rode her last night we bonded for a really long time after my lesson and I learned a lot at my lesson Fiona taught me all the ways that I was contributing to the fact to the problem how I was letting her get away with stuff without even realizing I was letting her get away with stuff and she showed me what to do and I felt a lot I felt a lot better after my lesson and I know we have a plan and we're moving forward and I'm not giving up and we're not gonna give up. If we just give up just like that, then we really would not deserve a horse. This shirt has a horse head on it. That short, that doll shirt has a horse head on it. Let me look. Okay, so that's a doll outfit with a horse head, yeah. And then I was peeking on the next page to see those boy stuff and I found an LOL doll. Yeah, she really, what, that's what you want for Christmas, huh? You want as many LOL dolls as you can get, right? You want them all. Santa, give me all LOL dolls. Yeah, she really and wants candy. them. You're just like your brother. Anyway, are you feeling better? Yeah, so she's. Oh, because I took a kid's pill. Yeah, she took a pill. She took a Tylenol, right? And it tasted horrible, but I fed her. Yeah, I can still tell by your throat that you're I'm sick. Not sick anymore. And she's not eating very well, which is a big thing for Sophie. So I know she's still sick, but the fever's gone, right? Mm -hmm. After my lesson last night, we took Sabrina back down to the barn. Gabby rode her bear back. She just really wanted to have some time with her, and she um, just wanted to cool her out. She got to cool her out. And. I want to show you guys what happened after we were riding and after we did all that work in the barn to like bond and to figure out you know what we're gonna do Fiona gave us a plan for the next time we, we don't go to the barn on Tuesdays and Thursdays we just can't go those days every other day of the week is awesome we can go so and we'll be able to go Tuesdays and Thursdays eventually just not right now here's the footage from the rest of last night's lesson so just so you know this is not a new day this is the same thing from last night when we had all the problems trying to get her to the arena this is the same night we have a whole new plan and the next video after this we should see a huge improvement so you guys can watch that now I know.
What are you doing? You attacking up somebody's horse? Yes. You attacking up blue? What's the problem with the saddle? Show me what the problem is with this saddle. Uh oh, there's no something missing. November it's no stirrup November. I'm not So a lot of you were asking why Sophia was riding with stirrups and why Gabby was riding with stirrups. The reason why Sophia was riding with stirrups is because it's a new lease horse, so um, the coach felt more comfortable for riding with stirrups. Um, I don't know why Gabby was riding with stirrups, so I'm gonna ask her. Why were you riding with stirrups on No Stirrup November? I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. We have no idea. But maybe next week she won't be, so we'll see. I see all the stirrups are off now, and the reason why Laura's riding with stirrups is because it's a her real first time on the horse. Sure. <laughs> no, no. I cannot see this anymore. All right, we're going for our first moonlit ride, right? Yeah. All right, you want me to walk her? All right, so Gabby's trying her first cool out. She's cooling her down for me and walking her down to the pad. Okay, I don't know if Sam vlogged at all. All the kids, we brought a bunch of Schleich with us. All the kids that were here tonight um, played. played. Like, except for one that's riding that we don't know. Yeah, but all the kids got to play Schleich in the- oh, she tripped. In the tack room. I'm literally gonna fall off she, if she trips again. I am. They got to play Schleich in the tack room. It was so fun. Did you love that? Yes, but Molly and Chloe had to go out. Yeah, Molly and Chloe had to go. They're coming back. Yeah, but they're coming back. So now the barn has turned into a, wait, don't leave yet, don't go home. Even though it's like past supper time, just chill out here and wait for me to come back so we can play some more. So I told the girls that we are gonna have a barn schleich day at our house. You wanna do it? Yeah. And also we found out that- I can literally not hold on. Why? Are you slipping? No, no, just like with my legs. Oh. I don't have stirrups to keep them. So the other thing is oh, that true. there's a PA day coming up on my birthday and I signed you up. Gabby, you wanna come? Mm. For what? PA day. For it's like where? A, it's here. It's like a camp. You come for the whole day. And you'll have your own horse. Mm. Yeah. Cool, right? Yeah. Like, what kind? You know how you go to camp in the summer? Uh-huh. Well, it's the same except for that it's just for one day. Mm. For a professional activity from school. Mm. All right, guys. So, so we have a problem again. We're here at the exact same spot. She wants to go in the barn to eat. No, no. Okay, so watch what Fiona said to do. Yeah. Stand there beside her and give her a tap from your hand behind. Come, come on. Oh my God. Oh, Is kick. No, no, you don't do that. Come. We are not going to cave into her, Gabby says. But we pretty much cave because... So basically, I think she, the, her old owner said that she loves her food. And this is what she wants. She wants to go in the barn. And that's all she wants to do is go in the barn. So next time we have a plan, Fiona gave us a plan A and a plan B. And I'll explain it all guys to you uh, the next time. And we look totally pathetic. Yes, I have a carrot in my hand. Desperate measures, guys. She taught me a lot of things that I was doing wrong with her in the ring that would make her think that she could control me. 
So I'm gonna fix those and I worked on those today with Fiona and that was really good and we're gonna work on some ground um, manners and have some ground lessons together, Fiona and me and her. So that'll be next week we'll be doing that. Yeah, and Gabby too, do you wanna do that? Yeah. Yeah, and also um, I spent some time in the ring after my lesson with her so that um, we could bond a little and grow a little bit of a, you know. Come on, get the kitty. <laughs> There's a kitty. Yeah, <laughs> like, she likes the kitty. She's like, I'll see. Here, look. Look. Cat meets kitty. Cat meet horse. Kitty meet horse. I'm sorry it's so dark, you guys. It's only yeah, five o'clock. We actually ended up getting her in easy. It only took about 15 minutes instead of like 45 minutes. Seven hours. Yeah, instead of seven hours. So I had a carrot and I don't know why she just gave in. I just kept on bribing her with the carrot and she came. So we're definitely gonna work on all of those things. Ooh, okay guys, look at, can you guys see how cold it is? Look at that, was my breath. This way, keep the flashlight where it is. Okay, watch. Okay, this is creepy. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye. See you on Friday. We'll be here again on Friday. Hi, guys. I'm home early. And the reason why I'm home early is because um, it's going to snow probably tonight. And it's supposed to get really, really cold. And I need to put my snow tires on. They're supposed to be on in Ontario, Canada. Anyways, they have to be on by 1 November. And it's already... 8, 9 November, 9 November, I think. So I have to get that done because it's going to snow and tomorrow it's supposed to be minus 7 degrees and I don't, I'd rather do it in plus weather like now than when it's too cold out. Plus, I'm going to spend time with my dog, Ruby. Ruby, Gabby's been spending too much time with you and you're supposed to spend your time with me. What do you got? Leaves all over your face. Hey, spend time with me. Like to have her running around outside and keep her with me because that's what my dog Abby used to be with me all the time, follow me around, and well, she's gonna be doing that soon. Right, right, girl, right, and follow me around. Good girl, good girl. It is dark and dreary and freezing cold. We are headed to the library. And actually I was wrong earlier that temperature is supposed to plummet tonight and tomorrow is supposed to be the cold day. Before I end today's video and do comment of the day though, I wanted to show you guys something super cool. As our channel has been growing, crazy things have been happening. People have been asking us to collaborate with them and I just can't believe that we're at the stage where people wanna be with us and, and share our YouTube channels together. Anyway, so we uh, were in a collaboration with a channel called Learn How. The link will be in the description below. It's a really short seven minute video and it's favorite apps from five YouTube bloggers and we are number four in this video. So basically they asked us to make a quick little video and share our favorite um, apps that we have on our phone that help us with our channel. I know a lot of you guys have channels and maybe you'll wanna check it out. Um, it was super cool and super fun and we're in somebody else's video. It's just so, it's just super cool. Anyway, like I said, a link will be in the description below. It's called Learn How and the video that we're in is called the five favorite apps from five YouTube bloggers. You guys, we are about to do comment of the day and end today's video. Um, the comment of today goes to Courtney Pipe and she says, I appreciate that you're trying to get your horse to move but I think sacking her with the lead rope is not the solution. Maybe you could try riding her bear back to the barn and that would make her think it's a hack or enjoyable. I think you might need to try more things as yanking at her head collar and smacking her with the lead rope is making her more and more aggressive because it is upsetting her. I hope you find a way to get her to the barn and I wish you all the luck and I will be watching the hopeful progress to come. Thank you so much for that comment and I am so excited for all the progress that's gonna come. Are you guys excited for the day that we get to walk our horse to the barn with no trouble? Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. Pretty much every comment gave us amazing good advice today and just know that the next time we are at the barn, it's gonna be different. You guys think it's gonna be different? 
I just know it's gonna be different because we have a whole plan. Fiona gave us so much advice, showed us exactly what to do. Plus Fiona's gonna try her out a couple of times and see what she can do with her before we go there tomorrow. But anyway, you guys, we are ending today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you tomorrow, bye. Bye. Bye guys. to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.